Welcome back to Ozarks Live. BCFO's annual A Time to Share is coming up again. It's always a great time. Allison Tuckness is COO over at Breast Cancer Foundation of the Ozarks. Ashley Carter is one of the supermodels <laughs> that is going to grace the runway. Welcome, ladies. Good to have you. Hi, thank Thanks you. By. Yeah, of course. Talk yeah. about what A Time to Share is all about. So A Time to Share is truly a night celebrating survivorship. Uh, it is a fashion show. All of our models, which this year there are 50 five of them are breast cancer survivors mm -hmm. and they are modeling clothes from local boutiques in the area so it's a way for us to support local and support all these local models uh, and this year we're really excited uh, like I said we have 55 models it's our largest group yet my and it goodness includes four male survivors for the well, first time that's what I was gonna say you've got some male models in there because men get breast cancer too that's, that's right yeah. how, how important is this fundraiser in the you know the the grand scheme of things with BCFO um, well, it's one of our top three fundraisers of the year. Okay. It goes back and forth with another fundraiser being the second largest fundraiser of the year, which is a great competition to have um, between the fundraisers, but it's one of our largest. So we, um, we really are excited about it. A lot of dependence on this being We're very excited about fundraiser. it being, yeah, oh, being yeah. so big. It, it's going to be, it's kind of a rowdy night, isn't it? It's just a fun, feel good, it's, busy activity. It's really just a celebration. Yeah. You know, we're so, these women and men who are on the stage are survivors of six months through almost 25, 26 years. So that is awesome. there's, you know, it's women and men of all ages, yeah. all shapes, all sizes, all backgrounds. And it really shows that breast cancer doesn't discriminate, but it, you know, we have true warriors out there who are beating it. And Ashley, you're a survivor. You've done the show before. Yes, I have. This will be my sixth time doing your this sixth show. Sixth one. Yeah. Yes. Do you get to pick out what you're going to wear? Or do they yeah. just kind of pick it up? I already have my outfit. I'm do so excited. Do you? Yes. Just one outfit, or do they give you a few? Just one. <laughs> well, with that many models, you don't have so much yeah. time in the world. Uh, now, okay, what are the things that surround this? Because obviously, you've got the the runway and showing the fashion, but there's a whole lot more in the evening, is there not? Yeah, we have a, um, a silent auction mm -hmm. as part of the evening. So um, that's actually going to be live uh, next Monday, the 18th. And it's going to be virtual bidding. So you don't have to be at the event in order to participate in the silent auction. Uh, and then also uh, we have food and music. This year's theme is raindrops and resilience. So all of our songs are about rain and overcoming the rain. And so it's just a really fun, lively event. Yeah. And then the models get to spend a lot of time together getting ready and getting pampered. It's kind of a time for us to build those relationships and those support systems with um, other people and just really, you know, make people understand that they're not alone. Exactly, exactly. And that's so much of it because I know when a diagnosis comes your way, it's just very scary. And then you have all these other people to lean on, which is so helpful. I'm going to get to MC this thing We're very next excited. week, so I am super excited about that. So I'll be able to get a description, names, and all of your sort of the write-up <coughs> about the, the clothing you're wearing and the boutique it comes from. So people who are in the audience can say, I need that jacket or I want that coat, right? That's what makes it so much fun. Yeah, absolutely. We're able to support local by showing what local boutiques are putting out there for spring and summer. All right, remind folks what BCFO does for families, you know. Um, so we support families who are um, facing breast cancer diagnosis, not just the client themselves, but also their family um, by paying, uh, you know, everyday living costs and supporting them in ways that there's, you know, they don't expect because why we don't cover the medical costs, we cover, you know, the things that matter the most to keep them in their house or um, make sure the kids have what they need to go to school and things like that. Mm -hmm. Things like utilities, rent, things such as that that sort of keep you afloat because, yes. I mean, the bills don't stop coming. Yeah, you know. and a lot of times work is having to be taken off because <sighs> of your chemo or your radiation treatment. Uh, and sometimes whoever the um, caretaker is may have to take work off also to help with that. You can lose parts of two incomes. Exactly, yeah. especially Easily. in the environment that we're in right now with COVID yeah. and people not wanting wanting to be very careful around immunocompromised people. Sure. We're seeing a lot more families that are having to back away from jobs that they might have been able to work before, but now they can't. And Ashley, not only is she a survivor, but she's also an employee at BCFO. So she's really I love that. able to work with us to help make sure that our clients, we're doing exactly what our clients need us. Okay, to do. a time to share is next Thursday. Thursday night, the 21st. The 21st, and it's at the Gilloys. Where do people get tickets? Uh, they can call BCFO at 417 862 3838 and 
purchase tickets over the phone and put an order in and do that and just let us know. We do have some tickets left available. Good and deal. hopefully you'll be able to come out and really celebrate these survivors. Mm -hmm. Allison and Ashley, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, yes. guys. See we'll you that right evening. Back.